channel we got the mn78 out on the bench and what we're going to have a look at today is how to program the esc i installed into the mn78 not too long ago this is the nebar c am32 45 amp esc fully programmable and this esc came in a combo kit that i installed which included the transmitter brushless motor as well as a servo so it was a pretty cool plug and play kit that worked awesome straight out of the box installed it was fully functional but this ESC is programmable and I want to have a look at that and we'll share that with you guys so what you're going to need is there's a separate little programming adapter here that plugs into your computer that you're going to need a little bit different than a standard programming card but you know what it's not too difficult Before we get started you're going to need to download a couple files which I have linked down below in the video description one being the programmer driver other being the ESC configuration tools so once you have those downloaded you'll be right where I am now so I'm going to open up the programmer driver and I'm going to install it so it's going to take a few seconds to install there we go once that's done we can get right out of there and go into the ESC configuration tools now and scroll down to the bottom where you'll see serial port connector open that up so we're going to now plug the ESC into the adapter here. There's a G on the left and S on the right, so ground and signal. And that's referring to the orientation here. Ground being black, signal being white. So just make sure you plug that in the correct way. And just before we plug it in, I am going to do a couple things here. We're going to click direct connect and we're going to open up the ports here. And when we plug this in, we should be able to see what port we're plugged into. there we go com3 is what just appeared so now before we well actually you can hit connect right now and you can see it m1 here but before we connect to m1 you have to plug in your battery and power up the esc so battery's plugged in powered up the little blue light is on there so we're powered up and now click the m1 and it's saying up top connecting to esc and there we go we are connected to the esc and you can see we've got a ton of adjustments here. You got your reverse rotation. So if you have your ESC hooked up backwards or to the motor, you can just reverse that right here without having to open everything back up. What else we have here? Brakes, stall protection, telemetry. There's a bunch of things bi-directional forward reverse. So a lot of things going on down the left side here. It's going to leave all of those the same right now. On the right side, you have your timing advance, your motor KV. This is a 2600 KV motor. Now, can just slide it and it looks like it's going to be pretty difficult it's sensitive so 2660 close enough to the 2600 kV it is a 14 pole motor so that's correct um, you have your running brake label so the, change that we're just going to leave it seven there and then beep volume PWM frequency startup power you got your sign startup range your sign mode power stop brake level so a lot of things going on there and we just click save and those settings anything that we've changed are now saved click over to flash so if you're loading new firmware on there you can do that right here input so your servo settings so we can adjust our servo settings right here low threshold high threshold servo neutral servo dead band Looking down below here, you have your low voltage cutoff. You can enable that. You can adjust it by sliding or you can input it manually. You have your temperature limit. That's going to be in Celsius. You can adjust that or all the way over to disable. Your current limit, same thing. Adjust it by sliding the bar or all the way to the right to disable. You can enable car basher type braking. Double tap to reverse. Overrides user settings. It's going to leave everything the way it is there. And save settings and early guys that is about it there's really nothing else to look at very easy very straightforward 
And once you're done, make sure you save everything and then just close connection. So guys, not too difficult to program the AM32 with this little adapter. I've got links down below for this, links down below for the AM32, as well as the combo kit that I purchased for the MN78 here. If you guys are interested in any of those, links are down below in the description. Check it out there, and we'll see you on the next one.